<laughs> rewind. I'm sure that you've all seen the YouTube rewind video, the, the mashup of 2012. Rewind YouTube styles. That's right. Uh, YouTube released a video two days ago that has gone over 20 million views within just over a day. Uh, well, he kind of, well, they didn't cheat, whatever. It's YouTube, it's their video, whatever. If you click the YouTube logo in the top left yesterday, you were automatically redirected to their video. But that, nevertheless, they did an absolutely fantastic job with their video this year. Usually, the mashup kind of sucks. Last year, uh, it was hosted by Rebecca Black, which uh, not only got a lot of dislikes, well, because the top video, for whatever reason, of 2011 was Friday. Remember that song? Yeah, I'm not even going to sing it. I don't really want to sing it. But what I want to get at is that this mashup was really cool. However, it what kind of sucks with the whole concept of this mashup is that they only go for all the crazy viral videos. Uh, it's too bad that they didn't use my video from February that turned, I think I got 10 million views from it, the before and after one, got like 7 million views in two days, which would have been cool, but they were going for the long-term effect, um, videos that did well for the whole year. Uh, nevertheless, that aside, I'm not trying to focus on myself, I'm trying to focus on YouTubers that actually really, really succeeded this year. One of the first names that comes to mind, even though I am not a huge gamer or anything like that, uh, is PewDiePie. I don't know how to say his name properly. Maybe I said it right. But his numbers are staggering. In the past six months, he's gotten almost 700 million views. 700 million views. Six months. 2.5 million subscribers. In six months. I'm not talking about a year. I'm talking about six months. He wasn't in the video. He should have been in the video. At least one of his videos should have been in that video. Ray William Johnson, number one subscriber. He wasn't in that video. Number one subscribed. Not subscriber. But he wasn't in that video. He should have been in that video. Or at least mention. He's number one subscriber. FPS Russia. 93 million views in the past six months. For a million subscribers. He loves blowing shit up. Everyone watches this guy, everyone knows him. He should have been in it. Tabuscus, even though I don't like the guy, I'm not getting into that, his uh, main channel got 158 million views. His gaming channel got 414 million views. His entire combination, he's got a vlogging channel as well with over 100 million views in the past six months. This is six months, not a whole year. What else is there? Vsauce, one of my favorite channels on YouTube. That guy should have been in there. The, one of the most intellectual channels on YouTube. One of the channels that actually educates us rather than just entertains us. The main channel of theirs in six months got, got, has gotten 135 million views. Their second channel, 65. Their third channel, 10 million. So a combined of 200 million views in six months. That aside, congratulations on making one sexy video, YouTube. That must have been a lot of work and congratulations on making something a lot better than the previous years because this was definitely the best matchup you guys have made so far. My little tidbit or advice that I would say is for future years to come, why not focus on people that really, you know, grew exponentially, really people that, you know, really stood out, not just one video, but a collection of videos because that's what YouTube is. YouTube is um, a community with creators that keep creating videos. So I think that's the most important, those are the most important users on YouTube. Those are the most important. I mean, they featured a ton of YouTubers that frequently upload videos, which is awesome. But the viral videos that came out, there's viral videos of people on there that just have one video. Those are not creators, those are not YouTube creators, and those are, you know, not the people that you as viewers actually relate to. You know, I could could have mentioned, you know, the Hodge Twins and, and, and other channels that people really do just really get themselves attached to, and that's what YouTube is all about. So, if I did a 2013 video, I would focus on the people that really grew exponentially, creators that really gained an audience and helped YouTube grow more and more. Just my opinion, I don't know, maybe you can give me your opinion in the comp box below. And well, uh, let's finish this off by saying, I want to be in 2013 video, alright? It's simple, just, just do it.
I'll be the guy eating in the bathroom. I don't care. It just looked like a lot of fun to be on that shoot when I saw the the behind the scenes and all that stuff. Anyways, just wanted to voice my opinion. I don't really do reply videos, but I felt compelled to. Stay sexy, stay hungry. Get laid, my friends. See ya.